What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Trick Tutorial Tuesdays. It's a series on my channel where every Tuesday I come out with two videos and break down tricks and concepts and tell you guys what's up with it. Now today for this video we're actually going to be going into the skate park real fast so hold up. What's up guys? Welcome back and we're in the skate park now and as you can tell from the scenery I'm actually on top of the vert wall because today's episode is going to be going over vert walls, how to drop in and how to air them out. Now in case now you believe me here, yes sir. Now this quarter pipe it is vert at the top but it it essentially just becomes vert and then the quarter pipe ends and you know here's the part I'm sitting on. Now the quarter pipe, you can't see it, but the one I'd be pointing to about right here, that quarter pipe is completely vert. As in it's a literal complete 90 degree drop like this at some point. Now this one, it is like that just for a little bit of an area and then it kind of goes down to a normal quarter pipe. But essentially that's kind of how all vert ramps are if you think about that. So first I'm going to be going over how to drop into a vert wall. So for dropping it, it's going to be just like any other drop and we're going to want to get a good foot stance on the deck itself. We're gonna wanna kinda ease over coping a little bit so that way we're ready. We're gonna get our arms on the scooter and we're pretty much going to drop in just like normal. But a few key things. Everyone's really scared about dropping into vert ramps because they're so big, it's so scary. I don't know, oh my God, it's a straight 90 degree drop. How do you ride down that? And essentially you kinda don't. I mean you do, but you don't in the sense of when you're dropping in, you're not going to be completely stuck to that 90 degree wall. Like, all right, here we go. But essentially you're gonna be dropping in so close to that, that there's little air between you and the ramp between there, so that way when you're going down, once the transition actually starts to change and adapt to a normal ramp, that's when your wheels from that little gap is actually going to close into the ramp, touch ground, and you're going to continue to drop in. So yes, it is a vert ramp. It's scary, it's big, there's a 90 degree thing, you know? But when you're actually dropping in, when you're actually doing it, you're probably going to only experience, you're going to drop in, you're not going to feel yourself go down like that, you're essentially going to drop in to where the transition starts. Now, I'm not saying jump, don't jump, because I've seen so many kids do that, but I'm just saying, just like a normal drop in, it is a bigger quarter pipe and there's a little bit more risk involved, but I'm just saying, take that risk, know what you're doing, and then send it. Now, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to film myself doing this. All right, so I position my camera up right now so you can pretty much see my wheels. Hopefully, you can see it good enough. But essentially, I'm gonna be lining up, getting my front wheel over coping a little bit into where I think my deck's balanced. I'm gonna be taking all the steps, you know, getting everything ready to drop in and then when it's actually time you're going to want to slowly go forward as normal and just be weary of that back wheel hitting the back of coping because it's probably going to happen so i'm just going to slowly inch my way kind of lean in so hopefully that helped you actually learning how to drop in. But next up, we're gonna be learning how to actually air out of a vert wall, which is another common thing I'm asked. And the thing about this is, it's not really too different from airing out from a normal quarter pipe, because if you're airing out on a normal quarter pipe, you know, you're off the quarter pipe, you're in the air, you're suspended, and then it's your job to come right back down to the ramp. And on a vert wall, it's kind of the same deal, except you wanna ensure that you do not pop out of this ramp, because if you're popping out of a vert ramp, you're probably gonna be ending up really flat. So essentially, for airing out for a vert wall, you're gonna wanna have the speed enough to get out to air out status but when you're going up the end of the ramp it's not really so much of hitting coping as violently as you would for a normal quarter pipe it's kind of just gracefully getting off the ramp if that makes sense right so I'm coming up it starts to get vert at this point I want to just get off you know what I'm saying just get my wheels away from that ramp because I'm airing out but I want to stay close to it so that way when I turn around and conform to the ramp I'm right there ready to go in transition pumping down again now I know this is gonna be scary because it's a 90 degree wall. So you're gonna go from airing out maybe just a couple inches over the vert wall to just going even 25 feet Raymond Warner status. You gotta pace yourself and you gotta work your way up. Vert walls did take me a while to get, but honestly, now that I have them, I can tell you it's something to not be afraid of. It's very straightforward and it's pretty similar to a quarter pipe to where if you're pretty confident in dropping into a normal ramp, a vert wall's not gonna be too much different. It will be that mental gap though of, oh my God, this is so much different. But in reality, it's just a little bit of a change at the top. And now I'm gonna have my homie Mike Michael filming a couple air outs so I can show you guys what's up. Guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope this helped you guys out on how to drop into a vert wall and how to air out. Drop a like on the video if it helped you out. Comment down below what you guys want me to do for the next Trick Tutorial Tuesdays because we're pretty much done with all beginner concepts and tricks. I got, I think, one more week's worth of videos left. Comment down below the tricks you guys want to see in the next Trick Tutorial Tuesdays because, of course, I'm gonna continue this series. And now that we're almost done with all the beginner tricks, just a couple more, I think one more week's worth. After that, we're gonna start moving into intermediate tricks and professional tricks like some crazy stuff. We're 
gonna continue this series going because I love making these videos. So, if you guys wanna see that, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a single video on the channel. Because videos on this channel drop every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so don't miss out on that. And until next Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, guys, I'm just gonna slide into this vert wall if I'm being honest. Peace. Around